Hello, I'm Sinead and this is your Week in Tech. Risk intelligence company Polcat has raised $4.2 million from grassy Greek ventures. The company was co-founded by Microsoft UK's former head of innovation, James Lawn, and the new funds will be used to grow its presence in the UK. Hampshire-based Lumi Technologies, a real-time audience insight research provider, has raised $2.8 million from Clydesdale Bank to continue their expansion. Augmented reality search engine Blipper has raised $54 million. Launched in 2012, Blipper has grown and moved beyond simply letting brands and publishers add augmented reality content. Now, the company serves up AR content in real time for thousands of real-world objects like plants, animals and food. Funding will be used to build out the machine learning and artificial intelligence technology. Startup Bootcamp has launched an Internet of Things accelerator. The program will provide successful startups with 15,000 euros and access to mentors, partners and investors in the Internet of Things and hardware space. Applications close on the 13th of June. US internet retailer Amazon has signed a wholesale supply deal with Morrison's, one of Britain's largest supermarket chains. The company will deliver fresh and frozen food to Amazon Prime Now and Amazon Pantry customers. Snapchat suffered a cyber attack in which a scammer impersonated its CEO and asked for employee payroll information. The phishing email was not recognised as a scam and some employees' information was compromised. Snapchat says that no user data was affected and they're offering the employees involved two years of identity theft insurance and monitoring for free. It follows prominent cyber attacks on Sony and TalkTalk Talk in the past few years. For more on cybersecurity, check out the latest issue of our print magazine. This week, TaskRabbit have launched their app and are promising to get tasks done in less than 90 minutes. TaskRabbit Real Time helps busy Londoners get their chores done. Jobs include cleaning, delivery, moving and handyman work. Not only that, you can be a tasker and find jobs and clients on the app. And finally, Queen's University Human Media Lab has created a prototype bendable smartphone. Features include the ability to flip through pages of an e-book and feel a more physical, interactive experience with your phone. This has been your week in tech. For more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.